we're going to look at some text wrapping options in Microsoft Word. First of all, we need some text on our screen, and I'm going to show you a little trick that makes life a little bit easier for us to play around with. All we do is type onto the screen equals rand brackets and then some numbers and the numbers are how many paragraphs of text we want and how many sentences we want in each paragraph so you can use any numbers you like and then you press the enter key and it gives you as I dialed up there five paragraphs and each paragraph has five sentences in it. We're going to insert a picture and I'm going to do that from the clip art along the right hand side. But this goes for what we're going to look at now for any picture, any object, charts, diagrams. These text wrapping features work for all of them. If you don't have the task pane open over on this side, then you can switch it on using the view menu. View, and you can see I've got a tick next to task pane there. I'm going to take the tick away by clicking and the task pane disappears. I like to work with the task pane on. There's always more than one way of working in any Microsoft product um, and I like to work down this right hand side with my task pane. So I've got some text on the screen we're going to insert some picture. Now whenever you insert a picture it goes exactly where your cursor insertion point is and you can see mine is at the bottom of the screen there underneath the text so that's where the picture will appear. I'm going to insert the text you can either just click on it or you can click the little sub menu and then do insert and there's the image. Okay, just click on that. Now you can see it's got a black border around the outside when I click on it. That just shows it's selected. And when I select the image, we get the picture toolbar appear. Again, if that picture toolbar doesn't appear, it might be anchored somewhere, bottom of the screen. Have a good look around for it. Or it might have been switched off. If it's been switched off with the close button, then you can get it back on the view menu and toolbars and pick it up there. So it's really a good idea never to close the toolbar, just to click off your picture and then the toolbar disappears. So there's our picture. Um, currently it's what's called in line with text, which makes it be treated just like another character on the computer. Um, it means it'll only go where a letter would go. So that's why it's appeared at the bottom of the screen. If I try to move it somewhere, it's really very cumbersome. I'll just make that a little bit smaller. It sort of goes in between the letters. It's not very easy to move around at all. The basic text wrapping that you'll probably already used is by using the text wrapping icon or the dog icon, I like to call it, to adjust the text wrapping. And you've probably, as you can see, that's in line with text. You've probably worked with square and tight before. Clicking on square just makes the text wrap itself around the image so that when you move the image around, the text jumps out of the way. That's a lot more effective. So that was square. And what tries to happen there, and you can see down this right hand side, the text wraps itself quite neatly around the outside of the of the object, but in a squarish kind of fashion. If you want a tighter fit, we can use tight. And if you look at the left hand side of the image, you can see the text jumps in further. And the right hand side of there as well. It gives a much tighter fit. Some of these are obvious, behind text, puts it behind the text, so the text can be seen over the top, in front of text, hides the text behind it. I quite like top and bottom, and it sort of creates a space for itself along the length of the page. Another useful feature is edit wrap points. With this, you can alter the amount of wrapping around the outside of the screen by clicking and dragging anywhere around this red dotted line to choose where you want the text to wrap to. So as I bring those into the image, you can see the text wraps itself around underneath as well. That can be really quite effective. So I'm getting much tighter fit there by editing the wrap points. You might well have played with one or two of those. Um, I'm going to show you another way of doing that and that's by double clicking on the picture. That was double clicking on the picture to bring up the format picture dialog box. I'll just cancel that and show that you can also get the dialog box by right clicking on the image and then format picture. Once we're in the format picture dialog box, if we click on the layout tab, 
you can see we've got the wrapping styles there that we had available on our wrapping icon. But we've got a little bit more control. First of all, we've got some horizontal alignments there, left, center, right, and other. And they're just the same as um, these ones at the top. So if I've got my bus there, if I click on left aligned and then OK, it jumps to a left aligned position. Bring up the dialog box again by double clicking. What I really want to show you is the advanced. When we click on advanced and make sure you're on the text wrapping um, tab there, we've also got the same wrapping styles, but on each one of those, we've got some extra options at the bottom for you to, to work with. For example, I'll leave it on text, or on tight wrapping. Where we've got wrap text on both sides, that means the text will wrap itself around both sides of the image. Perhaps I just want to make it wrap around the right hand side of the image only. And once you've chosen that, you can also dictate how close to the image you want the text to be. It's like putting a, um, a margin around the outside of it. See distance from text. Set to 0.32. I'll just reduce that down a little bit to 0.1. So I'm going to wrap it tightly with the text, but just on the right hand side of the image with a margin of 0.1 of a centimeter. Click on OK and OK again. Probably don't see much difference there in the image, but if I click and drag that across, you'll see the text is only wrapping around the right hand side of the picture. It's not wrapping around the left hand side of the picture. I'll go back into that option, Layout tab, Advanced, Make sure I'm on text wrapping, choose tight. This time I'll choose left only and OK. And OK. And now you can see the text is only wrapping around the left hand side of the image. So then there is some extra wrapping facilities there for you to have a look around and a play with.